Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I am going to do a 90s, maybe early 2000s inspired makeup tutorial. It's going to be quite a chocolatey kind of simple brown look. I got the idea from one of you guys actually who commented on a past video that they'd love to see a brown 90s style makeup tutorial. So this one is for you. Without further ado, let's get started. To prime the face, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. For foundation, I'm using my go-to glowy combo. It is the MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light, MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC30, and then also the Dior Backstage in 3W. Just mixing that up on the back of my hand. I'm going for quite a natural skin finish, so I'm just adding product little by little. Next, I feel like under eye highlight was definitely a thing in the 90s, so I'm using the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. This is in Sugar Biscuit. And then just taking a bit on the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna highlight under the eyes. All right, I'm just gonna powder just the center of the face here with the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Powder. And then for the rest of the face, I'm just bronzing up with NARS Casino. For eyes, I'm using the Tartlet Toasted Palette and I'm going in with the shade Latte just there and a fluffy brush just all over the eyes. And just for a little bit of eye contour, I'm bringing that whole shade up into the crease and this corner right here where the top of the nose bridge starts. just to create a little bit of a sculpted area there. Taking that shade under the eye as well. Then with the shade Fireside, I'm just gonna go on the outer V and into the crease. And just a clean fluffy brush to buff everything out. And then just with the excess on the lower lash line, just on this outside edge. Finally, you guys, I found an eyeliner in a brown that I love. This is by Marc Jacobs. They were kind enough to send me a brown pencil after seeing on my last video that I'm still using a lip liner as an eyeliner. So this is in the shade Brownie, and we are just going to do a wing on the outer edge of the eye. I'm just softening up that liner with a flat shader brush and also helping to wing it up a little bit. Leaving my mascara to the very end as always, I'm going to move on to highlight and I'm using Marc Jacobs. This is the new Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer and this is in the shade Guilty. So pretty. Just on a small brush. Now. 
For blush, I'm using NARS in the shade Liberty. Now that all the powders are laid down, I'm going to set the face with the Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. As always, I'm just going to go over a couple of my beauty spots. And then while I've got her out, I'm going to use my Precisely My Brow Pencil to do my eyebrows as well. And I'm going to give my brows a good brush through with the Glossier Boy Brow in black. For mascara, I'm using Benefit's Bad Girl Bang. Now for lips, I'm going back into my eyeshadow palette and I'm using the shade Fireside with a small detailing brush and I'm just going to line the lips. Alright, now that that's done, don't worry if it's not too neat. We're going to go straight over the top with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. This is just the Diamond Milk Clear Glittery Shade. And then gently pressing the lips together to blend. So this is personally my favorite 90s lip look, just a liner and some clear gloss to smudge it out. But I did bring out some alternatives if you want to do more of an all over brown color. So I have the Fenty Beauty Unveil Stunner Lip Paint and I love this shade. I might actually try this on after this. I also have the Mademoiselle by Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Shorty and this one is a red brown so it's a little bit more kind of a deep brick color. And then I also have the gloss by Bite Beauty and this is a chocolatey brown gloss so you can just wear this all over by itself because there was a lot of 90s gloss happening and this is of course in the brown shade so it's very much in tune with the whole look and it is in the shade French Press and then also if you want something from the drugstore this is the CoverGirl Melting Pout and this is kind of like a lip gloss as well and this is in the shade Celebrity. So I might try a couple of those out for you now. So here I have the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in Unveil. And I'm going to go over the top with Bite Beauty's lip gloss. As you can see, that's given me a little bit more of a vampy look, which is also a very big thing in the 90s. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Thank you once again, as always, to those of you who suggest and request makeup videos or any other videos. You guys are always so helpful in helping me to create content that you love on my channel. So I'm forever grateful. Also, before you ask about my jewelry, I will write down in the description box this time where I've got it because that's a question that I always get asked. And I think I might actually do a whole video on where I buy my favorite pieces, how I stack all my jewelry, and how I style everything together. I thought that might be a fun little video since you guys ask a lot about my jewelry bits. And yeah, I guess that is it for this video. If you want to hang out with me further, please come check out my Instagram. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.